YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Ship Graveyard Simulator. And folks, we are finally back, and today we are going to be ordering the big boy ship. So we've been working on some small boys, but we've got some new tools, so I think we can take on the $595 a day medium-sized ship. Man, does it really get bigger than this? That's already pretty massive. So we're going to go ahead and book this one up. Pretty expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it in the materials, plus all of the leveling up that we're going to do. And hopefully we're going to buy a couple upgraded tools here today. You can see a ship out there. We've already stripped it and we're ready to move on to the next thing. All right, there is our big ship. Holy man. That's about the size of the ship that we played with in the demo. So this is going to be a lot of tear down here. So uh, I can't buy any tools at the moment. I think I have some skill upgrades, do I not? Uh, we've got some points. Let's go ahead and save those. Let's just take the truck over there and get to uh, pulling this thing apart. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this game on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any suggestions for future games, comment down below. All right, looks like we got to take a ladder to get up on this. <laughs> I'm excited. These things normally have some really cool interiors. So no telling what we're going to find in this. Hopefully find some treasure. Uh, by the way, I should have refilled my uh, fuel for my torch. Uh, it's fine. We'll have to come back through anyways. So let's go ahead and start here. Uh, I think I saw at some point you unlock like a zip line, which would be really good for this case because, yeah, the uh, truck's way down there. So as soon as we fill up, we have to actually go back down, which kind of stinks. But yeah, let's start to break all this down and uh, see what kind of materials we get. Man, there's a lot of loose materials on this ship. This is definitely going to pay for itself. And oh, wood crate. What's in here? Oh, nice. There wasn't even a lock on that. So yeah, we need to go down and pick up fuel, lock picks, and hopefully a tier two hammer. Uh, that's something I really need. I can't pick up any of these. I was hoping I could stack some more. Can I jump off the boat? Is that dangerous? Uh, oh, geez. Okay, we're good. I thought I was going to die there. Uh, I could have swore I heard my leg crack. All right, so this might be a multi-day job. I don't think we can get it done in one in-game day. Uh, oh, let's go over here. So yeah, that definitely might not be a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and move all this over. So that's $531 there. How much is the tier two hammer? The tier two is only 900. All right, so let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, I need fuel. Uh, can I just buy that directly from you or? Oh, here we go. So this is the fuel, I think. All right, I just filled up on the fuel. Uh, lock picks, uh, I'd like to buy a couple more. Uh, I can't though at the moment. So we got one on us right now, but uh, let's keep scrapping over there. We got to make over $500 in this first day in order to keep it. But now that we have this tier two hammer, I think this is going to make our job a little bit easier. All right, here we go. Tier two. So now we can start breaking down like the steel post, which I'm hoping is going to give us a little bit more valuable materials, maybe more materials uh, in general. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to break down. Holland, what's up here? Holy man, industrial pump. Holland, let's break that down. Oh, uh, that's worth quite a bit. Boom, what do we get? It's going to be two petroleum and two steel. So this isn't that rusted steel anymore. So this is some good stuff. All right, so we need to upgrade it saw for these pipes. Uh, it needs to be a level two or a level three. So we can't take those down yet. Uh, we did level up quite a bit. We should probably invest some of these skills. Uh, we could do the hammer damage and hammer speed, which would be really good. We haven't done anything as far as the torch fuel. Uh, let's spend a couple points in there and then probably upgrade our hammer damage. Then utilities, let's go ahead and add some lock picks and the lock pick price down 5%. We also need to invest in uh, more of the materials or the management side because you'll get better prices and I think you'll find better loot. So we'll definitely have to do some more of that. But yeah, let's just keep going until we make enough to pay for the ship for another day. Uh, we probably can go look on the inside. I'm kind of curious as to what's in the bridge. Like you could see up in there. Also, if I recall, you can go down into the ship, uh, like in the engine room, which there might be something big to break down in there. Man, there is just so much loot on this ship. Oh, look, uh, a lockbox. All right. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get this one. Come on, get it quick. There we go. Aluminum and alcohol. Okay. 
uh, grab all the other loose stuff. There is something oddly addicting about this game and just going and getting loot. It's actually kind of crazy. And oh, look at all the loose loot in here. That's nice. Also, we have a rusted cart. We can break those down for a little bit of stuff. Okay, going through this, there's a ton of boxes to get through here. We're kind of slowly uh, picking and choosing right now. That's blocked. Uh, can we break this? Wait, is there a hole in the wall or something? Uh, no cracks on this side. Maybe there's something on the other side. Oh, this is a locked door. Hold on, let's see if we can get this open real quick. Uh, loose materials, some. Man, you don't even have to work here. You just grab all the loose stuff. Uh, maybe that's what we should do for now. And then we'll go banging away at everything. And Oh, the control box. That's a level three hammer. Okay, well, we can't get to that. All right, keep searching. This is blocked too. What the heck? Oh, it's all blocked from in here. All right, let's get this shelf, all this rusted stuff out of the way. So, anything good behind here? There's a couple good things, it looks like. There are so many boxes in here. We definitely need to go get some uh, lock picks. Oh, let's break down this steel barrel. There we go. Boom. That's so satisfying watching that explode. Uh, so, let's get our torch out here. Some stuff on the walls. Uh, yeah, no way we get this done in one day. All right, so let's... Torch that side and torch this other side real quick. Uh, there we go. One more. Boom. Oh, geez, that shot across the room. All right, there's that. All right, let's keep moving here. Let's grab the loose stuff. Uh, let's make our way up to the bridge. Kind of see what we're dealing with. That way we can maybe uh, have a path as to what tools we need. Okay, going up another level here. Where is this bridge? This has got to be the bridge up here. Uh no jeez okay well let's just keep grabbing stuff we're gonna have to go back to the shop before too long uh, we might not make it up to the bridge yet uh wait intermediate lock i don't wonder if the bridge is behind that door that would make sense because that's the staircase right behind it uh this would probably be like maybe the captain's quarters no this is like a workshop uh kind of a creepy one all right, we're going to run to the shop once again. Uh, let's go ahead and make enough money to uh, let the next payment come out. And then we're going to have to come back up here. We're going to have to work through the night. I want to maximize my time with this ship. So yeah, eventually you will upgrade and get even employees. Uh, I think that's what you build the barracks for. Hold on, let's go ahead. Actually, can we build that right now? Is that a thing? I'd like to hire people to come help us. It just says sell. Okay, tier one barracks. Uh, we need four kerosene and $800. Huh, I feel like we're borderline can do that. How do we make the kerosene? Is that in here? So it's just oil plus oil equals kerosene. Uh, we can do that. How many kerosene was it? Was it four? Yeah, it was four. Let's save our kerosene. Uh, we're going to try to actually do that. And maybe we can have somebody help us here in just a bit. Uh, first, let's keep working. Let's go ahead and unload what we can. Okay, so I had a change of heart. I saw that the angle grinder is in here for a thousand. And if I buy that, I have enough money left over. That way we can pay for the ship for another day. But we can't do the barracks yet. But, I mean, come on. I need this angle grinder. Uh, there's some good tools in here. Also, I can afford, real quick, the uh, oil mop. So let's go ahead and buy that. That's going to help us mop up those puddles on the ship. So, plenty more stuff here. Really, what I want to upgrade now, it'd be nice to get some more, uh, I guess, inventory slots. There's a couple car slots. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, check this out. We got our angle grinder now, so we can start to chop this. So, there we go. Let's cut that. Boom. And let's cut down here. And nice. All right, so we got some materials. All right, these pipes are really uh, good. They're full of aluminum, which is good material to have. So let's be sure to cut on both ends. So cut this end, and then we'll come down and we'll cut this end. I should maximize that. Boom. All right. Oh, yeah, look at all the materials that gives you. Oh, it's getting dark in here, too. We're going to go up in the ship here in just a moment. All right, so we are back in the ship. We need to make our way up to the bridge. We're going to try to break into there and see what they got. And then we're going to head down into the engine room. I loaded up another truckload. I did some stuff that was uh, just on the outside. All right, let's try to get into this intermediate lock. We're going to break a couple of these picks. Oh, wait. This still isn't the bridge? There's a lot of alcohol in here. That's good. Oh, here's another chest. Wait, there's a wall here. Oh, okay, we could uh, torch that wall. Hold on, let's open this one up real quick. 
Uh, what do we have in here? Alcohol. Uh, that better be worth a lot. I'm sure it is. All right, here, let's break the chest real quick. Can I break this? Uh, it kind of looks like you can. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we need to cut this up. Uh, did I hear something? Uh, okay, I might be driving myself a little insane. All right, so we got to cut these. This is going to open up the next room. There isn't a door on the other side of this. Oh, okay, so it is blocked. I about to say, I'm not cutting this wall down for nothing, am I? There we go. All right, we need to break these carts real quick. Okay, cutting this one. Boom, and, and boom, there it goes. All right, so we can get down into here. There's got to be some good loot in here, right? Uh, you would think so. Oh, there's some good stuff. There's cast iron. Uh, any boxes? Any sort of little chest in here? Man, I still can't believe we haven't gotten around to the old, uh, the bridge yet. Oh, look, here's a master safe. How do we get that? So, let's go to skills. I'm sure it's in, potentially, is it in here? Alright, so master locks. So, we gotta level up our lock picking. Let's go ahead and start to do that, because I feel like that's gonna be important. We're probably missing out on some really good loot in these. Okay, objective still stands. We need to find our way to the bridge. Maybe if we go out here on this... Uh, wait, no, that's not the bridge. The bridge is... Oh, it is the bridge up here. Okay, so we can make our way up into here. Oh, this is a pretty good piece here. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. All right, so the bridge is open. Please tell me there's loot in here, right? You know, it's weird. The bridge is relatively empty. There is some uh, chest in here. Oh, well, that one just popped right open. That was a glitch. Uh, cast iron. Uh, got some oil in here. Huh. Nothing really of value. That's kind of surprising considering it's the bridge. You figured they would stick something good up in here. So, I guess our next logical step would be to go down. Uh, oh, this is a tier three. Oh, there's titanium in there. All right, here, let me go drop one more load at the truck, and then we'll go down into the engine room. All right, so we're going to start heading down. Is this... Okay, there's a door here. This has got to be the door to the engine room. Let's go ahead and see if we can unlock this. Come on, baby. There it goes. Oh, yes. There's going to be some good stuff in here. Man, look at all the loose stuff that's just available to you. Oh, wow, this is worth 10 patrol. Oh, you have to have an upgraded mop, though. Yeah, there's 10 petroleum in that puddle. All right, I know there's something big we can break down here. Oh, so for the engine, you need a tier 3. I think all this stuff might be tier 3. Oh, wow, so breaking down engines is a big job. Everything down here is pretty much tier 3 stuff. There might be a couple smaller things, like, say, this oil tank. But anything related to the engine is going to be tier 3 tools. So we got to keep that in mind next time. Uh, we're not going to be breaking down an engine in this episode. But, I mean, at least we made our way in here. What is that? Oh, chemicals. Holy man. Hey, these wooden boxes have stuff in them. Is there any more of those? Uh, let me go up here. I didn't realize those had actual stuff. I thought they were just something you would break and it just disappears. Kind of like that. Oh, well, I guess they gave us one thing there. Hey, we can use our mop for the first time. We haven't gotten to use this yet. How does this work? Did I just do this? Oh, that's pretty nifty. All right, so we're just cleaning up these uh, oil puddles, and it makes the little uh, oil containers. Nice. I uh, got one more here, and boom. All right. Let's collect those. All right, well, that was a, a good night. It was kind of creepy in there, not going to lie. But we have enough stuff, we might actually be able to do the barracks. Now, if we get the barracks, I'm assuming we can have somebody uh, board this ship and maybe start to work with us. I don't know if we command them or if they just kind of go aboard and do their own thing and just collect materials for you. Uh, we're about to hopefully figure out, though. Okay, so we need to make kerosene. So kerosene is just two oil at 500. So it's already set to 500. So let's just stick our oil in here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Can I stack more? Oh, I can. Okay, let's just stack all... Actually, some of those were chemicals, weren't they? All right, let's do oil there. I know I got more oil in the truck. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that oil. All right, let's hit the switch here. Let's see, how much did we get for this? Uh, come on, baby. Uh, that is gonna be... Oh, okay, so we have five there. How many was it to do the thing over here? Only four, so we got that requirement. Now we need to get some copper and some money, and we should be able to build the barracks. 
All right, check this out. Boom, we have the money. Let's go ahead and buy the level one or the tier one barracks. And it's gonna pop up here. There it goes. All right, so now we can hire workers. Uh, they can collect materials and then we can upgrade our workers. So I guess they kind of just do their own thing here. Cool. Okay, we're gonna sell the rest of the loot here. Boom. All right, so we are up to $3,000. We can hire workers now. Uh, they can go gather. We can actually probably upgrade them. Do I have any skills? Uh, I got a couple points available. So yeah, we'll be able to actually uh, work with them. And look, we can actually uh, go ahead and upgrade those. It's 5% less worker payment and then 5% plus materials what they gather. Uh, so that's cool. So we've done quite a bit here today. We've built the barracks. We finally got a big boy ship and we need to go gather more stuff. So yeah, they're about to take out the payment. Actually, we can go ahead and get the worker going. Where are they at? I think they're back here somewhere. Uh, let's go hire somebody. We got plenty of money to do it. Hello, where are my workers at? I know there's somebody that wants a job around here. Ah, here we go, worker. All right, so that's the loot. It costs 31 a day, so I can go ahead and hire that one. All right, so we... Technically, oh yes, we do have a worker. Is there anybody else? It says, uh, I think I could hire up to three. Uh, we could send some other people out to go gather materials. They seem like they gather some basic stuff, but it's worth it, I guess, in the long run. And then you're going to want to upgrade them and they'll probably get you better loot. All right, here's another one. Uh, so, oh, this is a tier two. I can't hire this one. Uh, do we have another tier one somewhere? Oh, there's a tier three. Okay, so we might have the only person we can hire uh, on the island. All right, that's fine. Well, we got somebody working for us. So basically what we need now, we need to make the ship work for us for 24 more hours. Or probably about 23 more hours. Uh, and then dismiss it before we get charged again. So basically, it's in a free-for-all mode. Let's just try to make as much as possible here. You know, it would be kind of cool if you saw your worker up here working with you. Uh, I guess that would be something that would be a little bit too advanced. But yeah, I got a lot of tearing down to do here. If you guys want to see more of this on the channel, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.